What if I were to tell you that you can get an all tube combo amp for under 170 bucks? Let's check this one out. So this is a five watt all tube, 12 AX7, six V6 tube amp. This is from Mono Price. I got this thing for 168 bucks. I just literally looked up the cheapest tube amp that I could find and came across this on Amazon. So I bought it. It's actually gone up. Now it says it's 180 bucks. I don't quite understand how, but maybe if you check frequently, it'll change prices back. But I wanted to see what this is about, if it was gonna be any good and show you guys. So this is a, like I said, five watt, eight inch speaker. The speaker is an eight inch Celestian Super 8, which is actually a pretty decent speaker. For the price point, this is like a ridiculous setup, but I wanted to check out how this sounds with you know some legit gear going through it. So you're gonna be hearing this. This is my Les Paul, my 79 Custom. And I chose a nice sounding, expensive guitar because I am a big believer in the philosophy that you could plug a great guitar into a crappy amp and it'll sound horrific. You can also plug a cheap guitar into a very nice amp and it'll still sound decent, but a good guitar will not save a bad amplifier ever in existence. Quote me on it. It weighs in at a whopping 1.1 pounds. And that's the shipped weight. That's what it says on Amazon with the boxes. So literally it weighs almost nothing. It's super light. It comes in that, I mean, it's not a bad looking thing. I've actually seen Harley Benton, which we don't have many of in the US, but I was looking around online and I saw Harley Benton sells these um, overseas and it's the exact same the exact same box, the exact same thing probably. So if you're looking for one of these and you're not in the US, look into the Harley Benton version and I think it's the exact same thing. It also has power scaling. So for under 170 bucks, you're getting power scaling in your amplifier. It starts at five watts and you can push in a little button and it goes down to one watt. So you can literally crank it up as loud as it can go, which we are gonna do. We are gonna dime this thing at the end and hear what it sounds like. But the one watt switch works really well dropping it down if you need to get down to bedroom levels, even though five watts, eight inch speaker, it'll be really loud in a room. So it's a really nice ideal practice amp for at home, something that I could see myself using quite a lot. All right, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this. There's not many features. It's literally a straight ahead, plug and play, go for it amp. Um, I'm going to kick on some pedals. I got some reverb and uh, maybe we'll kick on a little bit of overdrive, see what this thing sounds like. So here is the bass tone with nothing on it. This is just going straight in. I'm mic'd up with my Bayer Dynamic M160 straight into my DAW. So it's a really nice dynamic sound when you're playing gentle. If I go to the bridge pickup and I start hitting this, we're gonna get a nice crunch. And that's with the volume at about five and the tone is all the way down. The speaker's a little bit bright out of the gate, but you know, as with any speaker, it takes a little bit of time to uh, break in and they even say it all over, give it 20 hours of play time before it sweetens up. So if it's a little bit harsh, I'm gonna probably blame the speaker on it for this. All right, let's get back to it. Let's go to the middle position again, kick a little bit of reverb on and let's see what we got. Nice little tone. Let's go to the neck pickup. So let's mess with the controls on the guitar a little bit. I'm gonna bring down the volume to seven on the neck pickup, see how she cleans up. Let's 
go back to the bridge pickup. Now bring that volume down to about seven. Really nice little sound here. I'm gonna bring both the volumes back up. I'm gonna bring down the bridge tone a little bit. Cool, let's hit it with a little bit of the Nordlin ODRC. This is a natural overdrive, one of my favorite sounds. And um, let's see what we got. Bridge pickup. <laughs> Takes pedals nicely. Got to be careful to not blow up the input a little bit too much on this amp because I don't know how much it can handle. I'd be curious to really slam this thing and see what we wind up with. That's just such a nice sound. So I just put a little bit of a slap back on with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of delay, a little bit of... Let's uh, switch over to single coils. This is a humbucker guitar, so we're gonna switch over to single coils, right? All right, so now I got my Sir for the single coil vibe. Um, this is a regular, like I guess it's kind of like a Strat Tele hybrid. So here, what it sounds like with single coils, bridge pickup, um, tone all the way up to start. <laughs> Go right to the neck. Nice, let's do classic telly bridge and neck pickups alone. So with the single coils, it definitely cleans up a little bit. It's a little bit nicer sounding. So they each have their own specific uses for this, I think. The single coils, you get a little bit more clarity and uh, chiminess and a little bit more of a bright and open sound, whereas the Les Paul is a more in-your-face, mid-heavy, uh, punch-in-your-face type of sound. It works great for both. I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. Let's do uh, some more with the single coils. <laughs> Hit that delay back on.
All right, so now for this, I'm gonna hit the Moore Blues Crab, one of my favorite pedals, and it's a cheap one, so if you're one of the budget-friendly bunch, definitely check out the Moore Blues Crab. <laughs> Really nice with the single coil for leads. Kick that delay up. And here's without the drive again. All right, let's do it. Let's jack this thing all the way up. All right, so we're back with the Les Paul. Amp is on 10, all cranked up. I have it in the one watt setting right now just so we can get a feel for what that sounds like. Sounds exactly the same, just at half power, even though it's, I guess, five watt to one watt's not half, but it says 50% in the uh, description, but whatever. You can think of it however you want to think of it. So here is the amp totally dimed. It gets real mean. See what happens if I give it a little bit more of the tone. So this whole time I've had the tone pretty much all the way off, but now that it's all on 10 and it's kind of compressing on top of itself, maybe a little bit more brightness. I'm curious how this is gonna sound with the mic. I have no idea what you guys are hearing at this point. That sounds so kick-ass, in the room at least. I don't know how it's gonna sound translating to you guys, but in the room, this it feels like there's a whole cranked up amp behind me, but it's this little thing and it's really not that loud. I didn't even have to adjust the gain on my DAW to crank it all the way up when I switched to one watt, so that's a really nice touch. Let's play some more. Let's hit this with the uh, Klon, the uh, Archer from J-Rocket Audio. <laughs> Alright, so that is the cheapest tube amp that is available for you to buy. I bought this off Amazon, 168 bucks, all tube amp. I actually love it. I think I'm gonna be keeping it around as a nice practice amp for the house. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, write your thoughts in the comments if you hate it, love it, in between. And um, while you're down there, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.